Lama Firearms, officially known as Lama Gabalundo YCIASA, was a Spanish arms company founded in 1904 under the name Gabilondo and Oresti. Its headquarters were in Ibar in the Basque country, Spain, but they also had workshops during different times in El Goibar and Vitoria. Lama manufactured moderate-priced revolvers and self-chambering pistols in a bewildering variety of models. These were popular mainly in the European and Latin American export market, as well as domestically in Spain. First Models Gabi Londo and Oresti was founded in 1904, but did not appear in the industrial census of Ibar until 1907 where it is listed as having four gunsmiths at work. In the period from 1908 to 1914, this doubled to eight. In 1912, the company was not among those Ibar manufacturers involved in legal action against Fabrique Nationale so it can be assumed that they had not yet begun to sell self-loading pistols based on Browning patents. Gabi Londo and Oresti initially made copies of Nagant revolvers in 7.62mm Nagant and 8mm level, these lacked the gas seal feature of the originals, as well as cold new service, and Dog style revolvers under their own brand. The firm also produced parts for other companies. The Velodog revolvers are small pocket pistols intended for the protection of cyclists and hikers against savage dogs, typically firing five or six shots, and fitted with a short barrel and folding trigger. They were initially chambered in 5.5mm Velodog or .22 long rifle, but later examples are found in 6.35mm Browning slash .25 ACP and 7.65mm Browning slash .32 ACP calibers. In 1913, the company manufactured the Radium, a small six-shot self-loading pistol in 6.35mm slash .25 ACP with a unique magazine design patented by Guillermo Echevarria and Valentin Vallejo. The magazine was fixed and was reloaded by sliding one of the grip panels down to expose the mechanism. Rounds could then be inserted one by one until the magazine was fully loaded and the panel closed again. However ingenious, the pistol was difficult to make and not revived after the conclusion of the First World War. Ruby In 1914, just before the start of the First World War, Gabi Londo created a sturdy self-loading pistol based on the Browning Model 1903 and chambered for the 7.65mm Browning .32 ACP cartridge. Unusually for the time, the magazine capacity was 9 shots instead of the usual 6 or 7. The pistol was intended for export to the Americas, and despite the small caliber was designed with military and police sales in mind. Other Spanish manufacturers had copied the Browning since around 1905. These copies were less sophisticated than the original, but one was very similar to the eventual ruby design, the Victoria made by Esperanza y Uncida. This was a six-shot model incorporating improvements patented by Pedro Carrega in 1911, and Esperanza y Uncida in 1912. These are believed to have covered the frame-mounted safety, instead of a grip safety on the original Browning, and the substitution of an internal striker for a hammer. In 1915 Gabi Londo sent examples of the pistols to the French government, who were hard-pressed for all sorts of small arms, even in this early stage of the war. After testing was completed in May 1915, the French decided to accept the ruby as the pistolet automatique type ruby and contracted Gabi Londo to produce 10,000 pistols a month. By August the target had been raised to 30,000 and later still an incredible 50,000 a month. Despite its size, the company could barely cope with the initial contract and arranged for four partners to manufacture the ruby for them. Armiria El Goibaresa YCIA, under the brand name Lusitania. Ishalaza Y Vincent AI YCIA. Hijosta Angel Echevarria YCIA. Irela Salavaria YCIA. The contract stipulated that each company would produce a minimum of 5,000 pistols per month. Gabi Londo would produce 10,000 guns, carry out overall quality control and arrange delivery to the French authorities. As the number of pistols required increased, the company agreed to purchase any pistols in excess of the agreed number at the same contracted price. As the French became more desperate, the procurement process spiraled out of control. 
Eventually Gabi Londo contracted with another three companies and at least 45 other companies contracted with the French directly to produce ruby-type pistols in a variety of calibers, barrel lengths, and magazine capacities. Estimates of Gabi Londo ruby production are between 250,000 and 300,000 pistols in total. While most Gabi Londo produced pistols were of good quality, others were less well made. French officials quickly became aware that few of the Spanish ruby types had interchangeable magazines, and insisted the manufacturers mark the base of all magazines. This was to prevent the possibly fatal consequence at the front line of either not being able to insert a new magazine, or having a loaded magazine detach from the gun in action. Many ruby types were plagued by poor finish and incorrectly hardened steel parts which after a short period of use wore so badly that pistols fired on full auto. On other pistols, the safety mechanism wore out. The good quality rubies were reliable and accurate, although some users were disconcerted by the lack of a visible hammer. About 710,000 ruby types were accepted by the French from all sources and by 1920, about 580,000 were still serviceable and in French army stores. Many other allied nations, and some of the new nations created after the war such as Finland and Yugoslavia also used ruby-type pistols. Gabi Londo ceased production in 1919 and switched to more advanced models, but other firms continued to produce the ruby type until the Great Depression wiped out many arms producers. Buffalo and Danton In 1919, Gabi Londo introduced the Buffalo, a pistol inspired by the Browning-designed FN Model 1910. While resembling the 1910 closely externally, the mechanism had some features carried over from the Browning Model 1903. The striker was replaced with a concealed hammer, and in those models fitted with a grip safety, the Browning design was replaced with a native design patented in Spain. The Buffalo was manufactured in 7.65 mm-32 ACP, and 9 mm quarto-.380 ACP with 7, 9, and 12 round removable magazines. For the first time a Spanish product appears to have inspired copies by foreign makers, in the form of the FN Model 1910-22 supplied to the Yugoslavian military, to replace worn-out, nine-shot ruby types supplied during the war. The Danton, introduced in 1925 to replace the Buffalo, was very similar but also available in 6.35 mm-.25 ACP caliber. Despite being marked war model and being fitted with a lanyard ring, these pistols attracted no official military sales but were popular private purchase and police weapons. Both guns were a great success, with one exporter alone shipping 100 pistols a day to the U.S. Production of the Danton was stopped in 1933. Ruby Plus Ultra The Ruby Plus Ultra was made between 1928 and 1933. It was an improved version of the earlier Ruby but had a 22-round double-stack magazine. Models with an extended 140mm barrel, but standard length slide were available, as were models with selective fire capability. These features were most popular in the Asian market, and sales to both Chinese warlords and Japanese pilots are recorded. These were not purchased officially by the Japanese forces, but as private purchase weapons through the Japanese equivalent of the Army and Navy stores. During the Spanish Civil War volunteers in the International Brigade also favored these early high-capacity weapons. Ruby Colt Transitional Models Around 1931 Gabi Londo began to make copies of the Colt 1905 in .45 ACP and 9mm Largo without a grip safety and with a 9-shot magazine. These were simply marked with the Ruby trademark and the caliber. Some Gabi Londo 1905s were reportedly marked with the trademark in a key as well. Llama The Llama trademark was registered in 1932 and pistols started to appear in 1933. There seems to have been a desire by Gabi Londo for a clean break with the Ruby brand, given the adverse reputation that wartime Ruby-type pistols acquired, the majority of which, ironically, were not even manufactured by Gabi Londo. These were based on the Colt M1911 and later the improved Colt Model 1911A1 model of 1924, but without the grip safety. 
very early models were advertised in 0.45 ACP, 9mm Largo, and 7.63mm Mauser. The Llama 4 was the first model to appear but was not numbered until a later date. The Llama V was chambered for 9mm Largo 38 ACP, 38 Super, and 9mm P for sale in the US. The Llama 7 was chambered for 9mm Largo, 38 ACP, 38 Super, 9mm P, and came at two different versions, a regular 5 length barrel and the extra with a 5 and a half barrel. There are reports of a llama being bought by the British in 1944 for use by the SOE but which gun cannot be confirmed if it actually happened. Concurrent with the release of these large models, Gabi Londo replaced the Danton with the Llama I and Llama II. The Llama I was manufactured from 1933 to 1954 and resembled a miniature copy of Colt 1911 in 7.65mm-.32 ACP. As a locked breech was unnecessary for a pistol in this caliber, it was eliminated, as was the grip safety. Similar to previous Gabi Londo models it had a 9-round magazine. The Llama II was manufactured from 1933 to 1954, the Llama II was chambered in 9mm quarto slash .380 ACP with an 8-round magazine and without grip safety. The Llama 3 was introduced with a grip safety, locked breech, and continued to be made until 1954. It was made in the same caliber and magazine capacity. Refer to http colon slash slash www.carbinesforcollectors.com slash llmappage.html for accurate pictures of the guns. Llama never made a stainless steel gun as some report them to be, they are all chrome plated either bright or satin. Taller and Mujica brands. In the 1930s, Gabi Londo manufactured its pistols under the brand names Taller and Mujica for worldwide export, mainly to the Americas and Asia. Taller was a famous Spanish target shooter and Olympic medalist who became a gunsmith, opening a shop in Madrid and he eventually began exporting weapons. He had the full range of Llama pistols manufactured bearing his trademark and name, with a variety of minor improvements of his own design. Markings on the pistols were in English, suggesting he had the British Commonwealth and North American markets in mind, although in the past other firms had also used these in an attempt to mislead semi-literate customers that they were buying American-made weapons. He was also an agent of the Spanish Secret Service, and used his connections to encourage sales to his fellow agents, government departments, and police authorities. Taller pistols were only manufactured between 1933 and 1936. Jose Cruz Mujica was the owner of a large shotgun factory located in Ibar. In the 1930s he contracted to export pistols to the Thai government, but after the occupation of that country by Japan he was forced to concentrate on other markets, mainly in China. Most of his products were Llama models marked with his own brand name. Mujica pistols were made between 1931 and 1954, with some interruptions due to the Spanish Civil War and its aftermath. Omni and Spanish Military Competition In the late 1970s, the Spanish military began modernizing their handguns. The extensive trials continued into the 1980s and Llama Gabalundo proposed first, the Omni series, and then later a new model, the M82. Both entries were radical departures from their normal products and used the latest technology. The first Omni dispensed with the Browning 1911 style swinging link in favor of the Browning 1935 type fixed cam to lock the breech. Apart from the method of locking the breech, other features of the pistol were highly innovative. Three new magazine designs were tried. Omni I was a .45 ACP pistol with a single stack 7 round magazine. Omni II was a 9mm parabellum pistol with a single stack 9 round magazine. Omni 3 was a 9mm parabellum pistol with a double stack 13 round magazine, however the first 5 rounds fed into the action in a single column to reduce the likelihood of jamming. Another feature was the two-piece ball jointed firing pin, which was designed to never break. Additionally the Omni had dual sear bars for improved trigger pull, a trigger safety, finger contoured trigger guard and a decocking manual safety lever. The wealth of features meant the Omni was an expensive pistol to make compared to previous models, and together with its radical appearance, this discouraged commercial sales. 
production of the Omni therefore ceased in 1986. Despite the Omni's lack of success, it was used as the point of departure for the military M82 design. While the appearance of the pistol remained the same, the mechanism was completely changed and numerous features copied from the Beretta M92 including the locking mechanism, the trigger mechanism and the number of rounds, 15, in the magazine. However, the open-top slide of the Beretta was rejected in favor of a traditional closed slide with ejection port. An extractor-mounted loaded chamber indicator, reversible magazine release and ambidextrous safety levers were also included. Military models had a magazine safety, but this could be removed on request for commercial customers. The M82 began production in 1986 and was adopted by the Spanish forces in 1987 as Modelo M82 Doble Oxion. Commercial models experienced difficulties feeding some brands of hollow point ammunition, and unsurprisingly, best reliability is achieved with NATO specification ball ammunition. The Lama M87 was introduced in 1986. This was a high-grade competition pistol based on M82 with extended barrel, compensator, muzzle weight, target sights, target trigger, additional manual safety, extended magazine release, extended safety levers, beveled magazine well, and two-tone finish, chrome with blued slide. Despite the high price, retail dollar US 1,450, the M87 was greeted with excellent reviews on release. However the glowing reviews were unable to overcome distrust of so many innovations on such an expensive gun. Lama in the 1990s The great success of the Para Ordnance High Capacity 1911 type pistols led to design changes to some models starting in 1994. The Lama IXC was manufactured from 1994 to 1997. It was similar to the Lama IXA except for the 12-round double-column magazine. This large-framed pistol had a 5.18-inch barrel and was 8.12 inches long overall with a height of 5.916 inches. It was fitted with a special Swartz safety, first used by Colt in the 1930s, to prevent accidental discharge when the pistol is dropped on a hard surface. Because of the thickness of the magazine well, the arched mainspring housing was reduced in size to allow a better grip for normal-sized hands. Following the passage of the U.S. Violent Crime Control and Law Enforcement Act late in 1994, magazine capacity was dropped to 10 rounds in and several minor changes made to the shape of hammer and safety. The next model to be released, in 1995, was the Max 1 pistol. This was Lama's equivalent to the Colt government model. This conformed more closely to the Colt 1911A1 than any previous Lama, and removed some of the traditional Lama features such as the ventilated rib. However the slimmer mainspring housing from the IXC was retained, a move considered by smaller-handed shooters to give this model superior handling qualities. The ban on the import of Chinese weapons contributed to this model's success in the low-cost 1911 clone market although there were problems fitting many aftermarket 1911 accessories. A smaller model, the Max 1C-F, Max 1 Compact, was introduced not long afterwards. This is shorter and lighter than the Max 1 but retains the same magazine capacity, 7 round in .45 ACP, 9 round in 9mm Parabellum. Lama Mini Max Subcompact 45-2 Mini Max Subcompact in late 1995, the Lama Mini Max was introduced. It was produced in 9mm Parabellum and 38 Super, 8 round capacity, 0.40 SNW, 7 round capacity, and 0.45 ACP, 6 round capacity, with a 3.7 inch barrel. The overall length was 7.3 inches and the height 5.1 inches. Designed for concealed carry, it featured an extended safety lever, rounded hammer, Swartz safety, three-dot sight, checkered neoprene grips and contoured trigger guard. The use of a flared muzzle eliminated the traditional llama barrel bushing and made disassemble semi easier. Standard 1911 type magazines could be used in the .45 ACP model, increasing capacity by one or two rounds. A wide range of finishes were available including matte blue, satin chrome, and two-tone. Initial reviews were disappointing citing mediocre accuracy and occasional malfunctions, 
but these may be related to quality control issues and ammunition choice rather than design failure. In 1997, the Minimax 2 was launched. The Minimax 2 is similar to the original Minimax, but with a double column magazine with a 10 round capacity in 9 parabellum, 0.40 SNW, and 0.45 ACP. Higher capacities were available for U.S. law enforcement and international sales. At the same time the Llama IIIA was replaced by the Micromax. This was similar in style to the Minimax, with a matte black or satin chrome finish and 3.75-inch barrel. Models imported into the U.S. were chambered for 9mm quarto 0.380 ACP, 7 round capacity, and 7.65 mm 32 ACP, 8 round capacity. Bankruptcy and Rescue Efforts while an inability to rapidly modernize its manufacturing capability might have eventually doomed the company, it was the Asian economic crisis of the early 1990s that directly brought about the crisis that engulfed Lama. Spanish banks that had extended bad loans in East Asia tried to cover their losses by restricting credit domestically, including to Lama. Lama filed for bankruptcy in 1992 and in 1993 60 of its gunsmiths and employees formed a cooperative to buy the Lama name and all of the equipment. These Gabilondo employees negotiated over a protracted period and finalized the transfer around 2000. The cooperative that took over was named Fabrinor Armacorda Y Microfusion, S.A. They moved the factory to Legusheno, and attempted to sell off Lama's old property holdings. The company began to diversify offering not just handguns but precision parts made by investment casting. The main problem with the new group was sales were not rising fast enough to cover the old debt they inherited from Lama. Fabrinor was able to reschedule the debts in 2002 and again in 2003, but even public listing on the stock market didn't help generate the funds required. Thanks to regulatory intervention, Fabrinor was compelled to call a special shareholder meeting on January 12, 2005, to reveal fully to shareholders the company's financial situation, its plans to restructure into a limited partnership and the latest plans to reschedule its inherited debts. The plans were rejected and the plant in Legashano was closed. Star, Bonifacio Echevarria S.A., had gone under in 1993, its assets sold to rival Astra. Esperanza Y Uncida, later Societa Uncida Y CIA, then Astra Uncida Y CIA, finally Asta SA, which in turn collapsed completely in 1997. With the long lingering collapse of Fabrinor, the ruling post depression triumvirate of Spanish pistol makers came to an end. Model listing Self loading pistols. Radium. Manufactured from 1910 to 1915. Self-loading pistol, hammerless, frame-mounted safety, manufactured in 6.35 mm-.25 ACP, 6-round fixed magazine with sliding cover. Ruby. Manufactured from 1914 to 1919. Self-loading pistol, copy of the FN model 1903, hammerless, frame-mounted safety. Manufactured in 7.65 mm 32 ACP, 9 round removable magazine. Buffalo. Manufactured from 1919 to 1925. Self loading pistol, copy of the FN model 1910, internal hammer, manufactured in 7.65 mm 32 ACP, and 9 mm quarto 0.380 ACP with 7, 9, and 12 round removable magazines. Also available in a gun marked Ruby Arm CO. Danton. Manufactured from 1925 to 1933. Self loading pistol, copy of the FN model 1910, internal hammer, manufactured in 6.35 mm 0.25 ACP. 7.65 mm 32 ACP, and 9 mm quarto 0.380 ACP with 7 round, 9 round, 85 mm barrel, and 12 round, 100 mm barrel, removable magazines. Ruby Plus Ultra. Manufactured from 1925 to 1933. Self loading pistol, copy of the FN model 1903, 
hammerless, frame-mounted safety, manufactured in 7.65 mm-32 ACP with 22-round double-column removable magazine. Some with 140 mm extended barrel, weight 1,000 grams. Some models were selective fire. Llama I Manufactured from 1933 to 1954. Self-loading pistol, blowback operation, miniature copy of Colt 1911 in 7.65 mm-.32 ACP with 9-round magazine with a grip safety. Llama 2. Manufactured from 1933 to 1954. Self-loading pistol, locked breech operation. Miniature copy of Colt 1911 in 9 mm quarto slash .380 ACP with 8 round magazine and without grip safety. Llama 3. Manufactured from 1936 to 1954. Self-loading pistol, locked breech operation, miniature copy of Colt 1911A1 in 9 mm quarto slash .380 ACP with 7 round magazine and with grip safety. Llama IIIA. Manufactured from 1954 to 1997. Self-loading pistol, blowback operation, earlier models up to about 1975, locked breech, miniature copy of Colt 1911 in 9 mm quarto slash .380 ACP with 7 round magazine and with grip safety. Also fitted with longer manual safety lever. Early models fitted with lanyard ring. Later models replaced this with a ventilated rib and plastic target grips. Luxury finishes, including gold plating, and various engraving options were available. One of the most successful models in the Llama range. Llama 4. Manufactured from 1932 to 1954. Self-loading pistol, locked breech, copy of Colt 1911A1 in 9mm Largo. 3.8 ACP with 8 round magazine, lanyard ring, and without grip safety. Llama V. Manufactured from 1932 to 1954. Self loading pistol, locked breech, copy of Colt 1911A1 in 9mm Largo, 3.8 ACP.38 Super and 9 MMP without grip safety. For US export market. Llama 6. Manufactured from 1932 to 1954. Self-loading pistol, locked breech, miniature copy of Colt 1911A1 in 9mm quarto slash .380 ACP with grip safety. This gun looked like the Model 3 but had a barrel that was shorter and held only 6 rounds in the magazine. Usually marked special police on the right of slide. Llama 7. Manufactured from 1932 to 1954. Self-loading pistol, locked breech, copy of Colt 1911A1 in 9mm Largo 38 ACP and 9mmp with 8 round magazine, with grip safety. Available as Llama Extra model, one marked and military and police one marked a special and one not marked in any way. Llama 8. Manufactured from 1932 to 1985. Self-loading pistol, locked breech, copy of Colt 1911A1 in .38 Super with 8-round magazine, grip safety, ventilated rib, in later models, single-stack 8-round magazine and lanyard ring. A large-capacity model, the Llama VIIIC, with a twin-column 18-round magazine, rounded hammer spur and neoprene grips was made in the 1980s. Llama 9 Manufactured from 1932 to 1954. Self-loading pistol, locked breech, copy of Colt 1911A1 in .45 ACP, with single column 7 round magazine and lanyard ring. Llama IXA. Manufactured from 1955 to 1985. Identical to the Llama 9 with a grip safety and a ventilated rib. This model was the mainstay of Llama's American export market. Llama IXB. Compact version of Llama IXA. Llama IXC. Manufactured from 1994 to 1997. Similar to the Llama IXA except for the 12 round double column magazine, inspired by the Para Ordnance.45 caliber pistols. Fitted with special Swartz safety to prevent accidental discharge when the pistol is dropped. 
Magazine capacity was later dropped to 10 rounds in late 1994 and several minor changes made to the hammer and safety. Llama IXD Very similar to the IXC model but featuring a shorter length barrel. 4.25 in, 108mm, as opposed to the 9CS5 in, 127mm, barrel. Probably inspired by the Commander version of the Colt 1911. Llama XA. Manufactured from 1950 to 1997. Self-loading pistol, blowback operation, miniature copy of Colt 1911 in 7.65mm-.32 ACP with grip safety and loaded chamber indicator. Identical to IIIA except for caliber. Llama 11 a special. Manufactured from 1933 to 1954 and again in 1970 for a few years. Self-loading pistol, locked breech, based on Colt 1911A1 but with more ergonomic frame, in 9mm parabellum with lanyard ring and without grip safety. Ribbed wooden grips or plastic in the 1970 model, rounded hammer, 8-round magazine. Well regarded, widely exported to Asia and popular during Spanish Civil War. Llama XIA and Llama XIB Manufactured from 1955 to 1995. Self-loading pistol, locked breech, and blowback, based on Colt 1911A1, in 9mm parabellum with grip safety. Checkered wooden or plastic grips, spurred hammer, 8-round magazine. Apart from name and caliber, not directly based on Llama 11 a special. The Llama XIB was a compact model. Subject to recalls in 1984, Llama XIA, and 1992, Llama XIB, due to risk of accidental discharge. Llama XIIB. Manufactured from 1990 to 1995. Self-loading pistol, locked breech, based on Colt 1911A1, in .40 SNW caliber. Llama 15 a special. Manufactured from 1954 to 1997. Self-loading pistol, blowback operation, miniature copy of Colt 1911 in .22LR with grip safety. Identical to Llama IIIA except for caliber. Llama 16. Manufactured from 1954 to 1997. Self-loading pistol, blowback operation. Miniature copy of Colt 1911 in .22LR with grip safety. Identical to Llama 15 except for luxury finish, including gold plating, and various engraving options. Llama 17. Manufactured from 1963 to 1969. Self-loading pistol, blowback operation in .22RF, with single column 6 round magazine. Smaller version of Llama 15. One of the smallest Spanish pistols ever made, it was discontinued due to the U.S. Gun Control Act of 1968. Llama 18. Manufactured 1963-1969. Self-loading pistol, blowback operation in 6.35 mm-.25 ACP, with single column 6 round magazine. Smaller version of Llama 15. One of the smallest Spanish pistols ever made. It was discontinued due to the U.S. Gun Control Act of 1968. Llama 19. Manufactured from 1954 to 1997. Self-loading pistol, blowback operation, miniature copy of Colt 1911 in 9mm Corto-.380 ACP with grip safety. Also had a longer manual safety lever. Identical to Llama IIIA except for lighter weight aluminium alloy frame. Omni I. Manufactured from approximately 1980 1986. Self loading pistol, original design with Browning 1935 type locked breech, in 45 ACP with single column 7 round magazine. Numerous modern features such as decocker safety lever. Omni 2. Manufactured from approximately 1980 1986. Self loading pistol, Original design with Browning 1935 type locked breech, in 9mm parabellum with single column 9 round magazine. Numerous modern features such as decocker safety lever. Omni 3. 
manufactured approximately 1980-1986. Self-loading pistol, original design with Browning 1935 type locked breech, in 9mm parabellum with double column 13 round magazine. Numerous modern features such as decocker safety lever. Llama M82. Manufactured from 1986 to 1997. Self-loading pistol, original design with Beretta falling block type locked breech, in 9mm parabellum with double stack 15 round magazine. Numerous modern features such as ambidextrous decocker safety lever, magazine safety, reversible magazine release. Best reliability with NATO specification ball ammunition. Adopted by Spanish military in 1987. Llama M87. Manufactured from 1986 to 1997. Self-loading pistol, original design with Beretta falling block type locked breech, in 9mm parabellum with double stack 15 round magazine. Numerous modern features such as ambidextrous decocker safety lever, Magazine safety, reversible magazine release. High grade competition pistol based on M82 with extended barrel, compensator, muzzle weight, target sights, target trigger, additional manual safety, extended magazine release, extended safety levers, and two tone finish, chrome with blued slide. Despite the high price, the M87 was greeted with excellent reviews on release. Llama Max 1 also called MAXI government. Manufactured from 1995 to 2005. Self-loading pistol, locked breech, Colt 1911A1 clone, in .45 ACP, 7 round magazine, .40 SNW, 8 round magazine, and in 9mm parabellum, 9 round magazine, but with reduced size mainspring housing. 518 inch barrel. High polish blue or satin chrome finish. Llama Max 2. Manufactured from 1995. Self-loading pistol, locked breech, Colt 1911A1 clone, in .38 super with double column 18 round magazine and reduced size mainspring housing. Also manufactured a 10 round .45 ACP model with a double stack magazine and a 414 inch barrel. For IPSC. International Practical Shooting Confederation, Competition Limited Manufacture Llama MAXIC Slash F Also called MAXI Compact Manufactured 1995 Self-loading pistol, locked breech, Colt 1911A1 clone, in .45 ACP, 7 round magazine, .40 SNW, 8 round magazine, and in 9mm parabellum, 9 round magazine, but with reduced size mainspring housing. High polish blue or satin chrome finish. Shorter, 4.25 inch barrel, and lighter model of the MAXI. Llama Mini Max. Manufactured from 1995-2005. Self-loading pistol, locked breech. Miniature version of Colt 1911A1 in 9mm parabellum and 38 super, 8 round capacity, .40 SNW, 7 round capacity, and .45 ACP, 6 round capacity, with a 3.7 inch barrel. Extended safety lever, rounded hammer, Swartz safety, 3 dot sight, checkered neoprene grips and contoured trigger guard. Standard 1911 type magazines could be used in the .45 ACP model to give 7 or 8 round capacity. Finishes include matte blue, satin chrome, two-tone and stainless steel. Llama Mini Max 2. Manufactured FR. Please subscribe and thanks for watching.